Being a neurosurgeon, I treat migraine headache patients on a daily basis. One of the commonest myth in the migraine world is coffee relieves headache. Many of my patients swear by their coffee cups to relieve their headaches. We all know when we have a headache or any pain for that matter, a cup of hot coffee immediately relieves the pain, isn't it? Friends, is coffee really a treatment or a trigger for migraine? I bet you will be in a big surprise in this video. Welcome back. I am Dr. Arun Naik and a neurosurgeon. In this channel, we have dialogues with your doctor. Dialogues of good health. Here, we discuss about lifestyle diseases, heart and brain health, cancer, back pain, preventive health, etc. Let's deep dive into our coffee cup. All additional links, tips and tricks told in this video, I will leave the details in the description box below. If you want, you can check those out. Around 850 AD in Ethiopia, a gang of goat herds observed that their animals were unusually lively after eating those bright red berries grown on short shrubs. Inside those berries were the beans that later went on a global journey to become the coffee bean and rest as they say is history. Now, with more than 400 billion cups consumed every year, coffee is the world's most popular beverage. If you regularly consume two or more cups of coffee per day and then interrupt or delay your caffeine consumption, it may lead to a caffeine withdrawal headache. This caffeine withdrawal headache is often called simply caffeine headache. This type of headache is usually moderately intense pain located on both sides of the head and tends to worsen with physical activity. The pain will usually peak after one or two days without caffeine and last two to seven days. Well, caffeine headaches are not necessarily dose related, meaning doesn't mean you have to be a heavy drinker of coffee and there are likely other factors that determine if you will get one. Some people get caffeine headaches even though they only consume very small amounts of caffeine, while others who regularly drink 5-6 cups per day don't get headaches even if they drink less than usual or if they stop. This may be due to some metabolic issues meaning the way your body handles caffeine. Other symptoms of caffeine withdrawal headache include drowsiness, poor concentration, depression, anxiety, irritability, nausea vomiting, muscle pains, stiffness, etc. Now, what is the cause for caffeine headache? Friends, coffee has an ingredient called caffeine which actually is the reason for all its good or bad effects. Caffeine is categorized as a drug and if so is reportedly the most used drug in the world because almost one in two person on this planet is a coffee drinker. Although caffeine is considered a drug, we don't think it qualifies as an addictive substance. Studies have shown that 50% of coffee drinkers who consume more than 200 mg of caffeine a day will develop withdrawal headaches if they abruptly stop drinking. In my practice, this headache happens more during the weekend as many people don't have access to coffee at their homes or they just get up late on a Sunday to wake up to a headache. How does caffeine keeps us active and fresh? To know that we have to go into our brains. Studies have shown that our brain has a negative neurotransmitter called adenosine. Now these neurotransmitters are the chemical substances which transmits the signals across millions of nerve cells every minute of our activity or inactivity. Caffeine blocks the adenosine receptors in our brains and that leads to release of positive neurotransmitters called dopamine and glutamate. 
which are stimulants of CNS, central nervous system, and these are responsible for the effects of coffee. Now, what are the sources of caffeine? Caffeine story doesn't end here, friends. Wait. If you think only coffee has caffeine, I will give you a caffeine shock. If you don't like coffee and you love your cup of tea, your cup of tea also has tons of caffeine. Yes, caffeine is found in abundance in your tea. Not only in tea, your favorite soda, energy drinks, nutritional drinks, dark chocolates and over-the-counter prescription medications for all sorts of pain. All these contain varying amounts of caffeine. So any of these drinks or chocolates can induce withdrawal headache if stop taking. While caffeine content of coffee varies widely based on the blend and how it's brewed, a 250 ml of a regular brewed coffee typically punches between 80 to 150 mg of caffeine, though some brews have closer to 250 mg depending on the bean and preparation. As with the coffee, the caffeine content of tea depends upon several factors including the blend, the temperature of the water it's brewed in and how long it steeps. For example, a 250 ml of a hot brewed black leaf tea has about 50 mg of caffeine. Your favorite chocolate bar has about 10 mg of caffeine while a cola can have up to 70 mg of caffeine. What is the safe limit of caffeine intake? Well, that's a difficult question to answer. It depends upon your age, duration of your coffee drinking, whether you are a mild or a heavy drinker, whether you smoke, your body weight, etc. But average safe limit of caffeine is about 300 mg per day. Now, what is the treatment of caffeine headaches? The simplest treatment for caffeine withdrawal headache is to have a caffeinated beverage. Most people will get relief within an hour of consuming about 100 mg of caffeine. I also suggest my patients to take a crocin tablet along with the coffee. I found it very effective in arresting a bad caffeine headache. If your goal is to cut back or eliminate caffeine from your diet, there are other steps you can take to avoid the headache of caffeine withdrawal. What I also advise my patients is to drink a lot of water and remain hydrated during this period as hydration prevents a caffeine headache for a large extent. How to stop caffeine intake? Well, most effective way to prevent withdrawal symptoms is to slowly and gradually reduce your caffeine intake over four to six weeks of duration. This way, you will not get any caffeine withdrawal headaches. For headaches, caffeine can be an ultimate puzzle to crack. While it's been shown to help treat migraine, regular caffeine intake can result in chronic migraines and medication overuse headaches. So in summary, even if you are not a headache person, decreasing or stopping your daily coffee or tea could cause caffeine headaches. If the symptoms are bad, then only way out of this juggernaut is to consider cutting caffeine out of your diet or at least have it in moderation. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and hope you like this video. Please share this video with your near and dear ones to put them also on the positive side of their health. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to Doc Locks. It will be my great honor and privilege to have you guys among the ever-growing community of Doc Loggers. Hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos. If you are also a coffee lover and want to get rid of your headaches, you can follow these simple guidelines. If you have something else in mind, please share your thoughts in the comment section below and I will try to throw some light onto it. Friends, I'll be back with one more interesting doc log very soon. Till then, feel awesome, live awesome and take good care of your health and keep an eye on the size of your coffee cup. Don't wanna wake up without you, baby without you.